The beauty of Psalm 107 is that it's also a psalm that is a call to worship. That when we gather corporately in our congregations and our churches, usually at the beginning of the service, we have a time called the invocation. And in that invocation, it's to call to worship the people. And there are two ways of seeing that. You could, one, call the Lord to be present with you, that yes, He is there. He is omnipresent. He is everywhere. But it's this call to Him to be close, Lord. Would you, would you come close? Would you make yourself manifest among us? But then there's also another way to see a call to worship. It's to call the people to worship, to say, hey guys, remember that there is a God who is already here. That however you are coming into this place, whether you are barely scraping by, whether you are bright-eyed and bushy-tailed and coming in um, ready to worship, that there is God who is ready and waiting for you. So I don't know how you're coming into this study. I don't know if you're doing great, if you're in the middle of a blessed season where you feel fulfilled or things just happen to be going your way and you feel blessed and known and loved. Some of you might not feel like that. Some of you might feel alone and you're barely getting by. You're struggling through each day and just the idea of opening your book sounds like a full-on workout or marathon. My prayer is that you will come just as you are and know that there is a God who is waiting for you. And He's not waiting for you to pull it all together and to come happy and satisfied, but He's inviting you to come just as you are, right in the middle of whatever season you find yourself.